Hey guys, you ever wonder what the power of money can do for people? Yeah. Makes people, money makes people do some strange things. But money doesn't always get you what you want. No. Especially when it comes to my daughter. Hey Izzy. Mm -hmm. I need help today. I kind of need somebody to sweep off the deck. Well, I need help defeating this. Five dollars? Five dollars? Would I get it done? No. See, like I said, it doesn't matter. Now, I could offer her ten dollars. She'd probably still say no. But what does money get for us? Hmm. Let's find out. Izzy! I got to paint my bedroom. I could use help today. Two five dollar bills? Ten dollars? Would I get your help? No. Exactly, see? What is everybody's price? Makes you wonder. Now, for me to get that room painted, I wonder what her price would be. What would it take? I know two fivers won't do it. Well, I need help defeating the brood mother, but also, you know, 50, 100. 50 to 100, 100 bucks. Talk to my lawyer. I'll have my people contact your people. And mind you, if I was to actually paint my room, it's just two small walls. A hundred bucks? Mm-hmm. Sure. See, you know, some people say money talks, bull poop walks. Not really always. I guess it depend, you know, depends on how much. Well, we're going to paint another one here, okay? Another little scenario with money. Hey, Angie. You want to go out with your friends and enjoy yourself? Here's a $10 bill. Oh! Thanks, honey. See, sometimes it does work. You know, she took the 10 bucks right out of my hands. If I was personally her, I would have held off for a lot more. At least 50 or 100. Where am I going to get 100 bucks? Just saying. But I asked you guys, why is money so powerful but yet not so powerful? Now, the walls needed painting. That was actually from a real thing that happened back about three weeks ago. I had asked Elizabeth and her best friend Ashley if they would want to uh, paint the walls and I'd pay them a little bit of money. I think at the time we was going to pay them something like $50, $25 a piece. And it's not hard what they was going to do. But they refused to take that. They held out until what? I think that she, that she was going to charge us 80 to 100 bucks. And it's only two little walls. My hand's cold. So tell me something, honey. How come you didn't hold off for more than 10 bucks? Because I got the card. I can oh. get whatever I want out of it. <laughs> no, she's not stupid. <laughs> but yeah, now when my youngest gets home, we're going to see what he would do for money. Or would he charge more? Maybe it's, is it the, just the kids It's like this? Could it be the kids today don't understand the value of money? Maybe that's it right there. The kids today don't understand the value of money because when I was a kid, if my father came up to me, well, he never asked. He's just like, Michael, you're going to paint that wall. Okay, Dad. But if he was to ask me, I probably would have said no. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. True story. Well, it's not really a story, but I'm going to tell you something that happened the other night. Blew my mind. Now, back a couple uh, weeks ago, we uh, bought something from Lowe's. It's uh, like a little... Um, I'm gonna show you to you in a minute. It's inside. It was we bought something so Angie could use it for her crafts and stuff. Now we didn't really get a chance to put it together until recently, and we didn't put it together. My oldest son, Justin, he says uh, Angie and I had to take out to go do some running, and he asks us if he if we want him to put it together. We're like, sure, we will pay you twenty dollars for it. You know, put it together and we will pay you twenty dollars. It was a lot of work to put this together. Well, let me tell you, put it together, right? He put it together and it took him about a couple hours to do. And once he got it together, he actually says, I owe you guys money. He says, you got changed for this 20, it was only worth $10. Then he stopped, he says, I shouldn't even take this. This should be free because I am your son. This is what kids do. My oldest son told us this. Blew my mind, totally blew my mind. Especially when my daughter wants to charge us a fortune to paint the dang room. Well, when Damien gets home, let's let's hit him up with a scenario and see what he will say. Izzy, now your brother Justin 
basically didn't want to charge us to put this together. He's a good boy. Now, won't you paint the bedrooms free too? Sure, if you pay me money for it, if that's your definition of free. Why are you in a night robe? Or what is that, night robe or something? My robe? Because it's soft and I'm killing cold. people. You're cold, ain't you? Yeah. Okay, I was going to wait for my youngest to get home and try one on him, but guys, that's still two hours from now, and I want to get this thing edited, rendered, and uploaded, because as you guys know, I didn't put a video up Wednesday. So let's try one with Elizabeth. Let's try an easy one. Yeah. Izzy, I hate to bug you. I know you're busy playing hard on games, but for one buck, one buck, take the dog out. No. One hundred, maybe. To take the dog out. Yeah. I don't you're feel cheap. You're nuts. I'm not cheap. Now, grant you, when we got Stormy, everybody knew that we had to take the turns taking her out. Yeah, no. Angie and I are the main ones that take the dog out, mainly me. But anyway, for one dollar, she wouldn't even take the dog out. Oh. <laughs> Tell you. But I wonder, though, if she needed something real bad and she actually needed money, would she do it then? Hmm. Hey, you. You're not hurting for money right now, are you? No. But if you was hurting for money, you would do it for a buck, wouldn't you? No. Hey, you would. A dollar could buy me maybe half a stick of gum. A dollar makes two dollars and two dollars to make five dollars and so on, so on. I I'm talking died. to you. Yeah, well, I just died, so, you know, you can take the dollar and shove it somewhere. <laughs> well, there you guys got it. So I asked you, if you have kids like I do and you pay them a little bit of money here and there, do they want more? Do they hold off and want more? I don't know. Is it like that for adults, too? Well, yeah, that's true, because you got a job for somebody, they always want more money. And I remember the saying Mom told me when I was a kid. Money don't grow on trees. Mm-hmm. You guys heard that before, too? Well, guys, I want to make a quick video today. Yeah, as you notice, most of it's indoors, because it's too dang cold out there for me to stay. I freeze my butt off. But I want to make a video today. It has something to do with money. I was going to do a skit at first, but nah. Now, I would have put some 20s in there, but I don't have no 20s. I only got two fives of 10 and a couple singles. <laughs> That's all I got right now. So, I do it for a 20. what? I do it for a 20. You'll take the dog out for a $20 bill? Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm going to save myself money and take her out myself. Like Smart. I always do. But anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching. In the last couple days, I've been busy. See that room right there? I moved from, oh, I can't even see my finger. Yeah, I moved from that room to that room. And moved my son in the room we was in because he walks in his sleep. Tell you about that sometime. But we've been super, super busy. That's why I didn't get a video out yesterday. But until next time, guys, I am One Bubba Mike One. I want to thank you for watching. And we'll catch you tomorrow because I'm going to... Put another one on. I got time now. So we'll see you then. Come on. Let's get out of here. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Why not? You do know sometimes we have okay videos. Sometimes. Until next time, guys. Um, 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 um. Oh, what the hell? Let's get out of here.